Black Hills Talk Show and Rodeo visiting with Susie Geppert from the South Dakota Beef Industry Council and also Wayne Tupper is on the board of directors with the Industry Council. Yep, correct. B beef is so important to our South Dakota economy. It is. Beef is very important to our economy. You know, when you look at the beef industry itself, it's got about a $4.5 billion impact for the state of South Dakota. So we're really excited to be out at the stock show and just kind of telling that beef story. Don't what? forget, beef, it's what's for dinner. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you have for dinner today, Wayne? I, I had beef. <laughs> of course, you guys just finished a, a, a nice presentation in the uh, Sutton Rodeo Zone and uh, uh, cooking some beef in there. We did. You know, one of the things that we decided to do this year was to partner up with Lost Cabin Beer Company and Chef Justin Warner, and they are just walking up right now, so we can join in on the fun with them. All right. And we decided to put this promotion on and, and work together on it, and we're pretty happy with how it's worked out. Well, you guys put on quite a show in there with the, with the beef and everything. You like that? Oh, my goodness, yeah, and great food. Well, you know, it helps to uh, have a good inspiration, you know, so uh, thank you guys for uh, partnering up with Lost Cabin. It was awesome. Oh, no, we had a great time. Anytime we get a chance to talk food and beer and work with a chef like Justin, we're, uh, we're, we're eager. Yeah. And what's better than beef, huh? Uh, beef and beer in Bronx. Yeah. That's about it. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. What did you cook in there? It looked really delicious. We didn't get a chance to come up on stage to taste it. Oh, bummer. So we made a steak tartare. We had a seared ribeye and then finally a uh, slow smoked short rib. Uh, and we paired it up with our Dakota Common, which is an amber lager. We had the Sodank IPA and the Chuculator Doppelbach up there. All right. Sounds great, guys. Okay, Susie, we appreciate you guys uh, being here at this talk show and uh, nice to visit with you. Absolutely. Grover, Colorado. And, and this young lady must be your wife? This, Janet, yes. Okay. I've probably been here for the last 30 years. I used to live here in South Dakota. And uh, how are you enjoying the stock show? Great, so far. The weather's good, yeah. so far. <laughs> you can't beat the weather. It's kind of like old home week. I'm just here visiting this year. All right. Well, thanks for taking time to visit with us. Yeah, thank you. Visiting with PRCA Rodeo Clown Keith Isley from North Carolina. Uh, I've been here for quite a few times. Great crowd of ro uh, people, great rodeo. Walked in the hotel when I got here. They never asked me who my name or nothing, just handed me the key. And, it, and it, it's, you've got to, I get to meet so many people here around the Rapid City area. It just seemed like family. Years ago, I used to be one of those guys that protect the, uh, the, the bull rider. You were rider. a bullfighter. Yes, sir, I was, and I enjoyed it. And I still have a small urge to do that once in a while. But um, normally, I'm in the barrel now. The barrel is not the safest place to be either. The, um, sometimes the bull will hit it, knock it over, get his head in it, foot in it, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I depend, as soon as I go down in that barrel, I depend on the bullfighters or the announcer to tell me what's going on outside. So they're protecting you too. They do protect me to a point. Their first priority is the is the bull rider, and 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 I should be next on the list. I would think. As a clown, you ever got hurt out there? Oh yes, oh yes. I had a, a my. This is not my barrel that I'm using here. My barrel weighs 170 pounds. It's it's heavy. And I was in uh, Durango, Colorado one year, and a bull, I was in it, bull turned it over, stuck his horn in between the, the padding and the barrel, and picked it up with me in it. Oh my goodness. That's entertainment at its best right there. <laughs> You're going to get hurt uh, occasionally. Um, I don't get hurt as bad doing the comedy as I did back when I was fighting bulls and trick riding. You know, when I was trick rode, I got beat up a little bit, sore and all. Appreciate everybody in Rapid City coming out and supporting this road. Yeah, I'm Dennis George from Riverton, Wyoming. I've been building saddles for 52 years now, so. 52 years, what got you into it? Well, I was rodeo owned and, and uh, ranch raised and 
back then, you know, we just built what we needed. And when I went to school, I come by a saddle shop and needed some rawhide. And I went into the saddle shop and I just happened to know one of the guys in there stamping and and they had a good idea for bronc saddles. That's what I built for a long time was bronc saddles. I started making saddles for them and finally went on my own and been at it for quite a while. There's an old saying, you get what you pay for when it comes to quality. Yes, you know, and that's one of the things that I really push for is quality in, in all my materials. And it's got to fit horses and it's got to fit the cowboys. And, and we spend a lot of time. I've got just a small shop. My grandson and I work in the shop now. I give the Bronx saddle business to my son. You know, he still carries the G-Bar G name, but, but, you know, we've got two different shops. You know, the main thing is we want to keep people happy, and uh, they're my advertisement. And it's, it's been a family thing. Uh, my dad worked in the shop with me until he was 94 years old. He finally passed, and, and uh, he wasn't a saddle maker. He didn't start until later in life after my mother passed away, and I brought him to live up there to Riverton with us. But it's just, it's been the most enjoyable thing in my life. And, you know, I, I, uh, I started coming here right after I finished going to the National Finals Rodeo, and this was always a good, good long rodeo. In the last couple of years, the, the weather has been a little hard on all of us. Uh, so kind of waiting to see what this year brings. Best wishes and thanks for coming to the Black Hills Talk Show. Well, thank you. You too.